Hey guys, welcome back to another Discord Digits video. This is Dashcraft, and this video I'm going to show you a show of you guys are able to make your own Discord Digits giveaway command and giveaway system. So it's been a long, long time I didn't upload a video, and yes, I know I'm starting to upload because of the school stuff, you know, and the things going on in the real life, and it's just being so busy right now. But thankfully, in the Christmas, I might be able to upload more. I'm pretty sure that I'm going to upload four times a month or something. I'm not exactly sure. Anyways, with that being said, I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys how you guys are able to do it. But before we actually start the video, there's two things you guys need to make sure about first of all you have to make sure that you have a mongodb database second of all you just have to make sure you have an understanding of a discord digest as well because so i see some people that don't have any they don't know anything about discord just and then do this video and they say it's not working you need to have some understanding about discord digest and if you don't know how it works it's pretty much simple you just have to don't be worried about anything it's important to have some basic understandings but if you're on like honestly know some basics of the js then this video is going to be more than fine for you i'm just saying so we're going to in today's video we're going to use a package called there's a package called Discord Giveaway. So this package is also made by my friend Gavin. He's my friend. We also work together as a development team and he made this package and it's pretty sick. I always wanted to make a video about this, but I didn't. Um, thankfully, I finally did. And I feel like you guys will like today's video because of this package and how easy it is. So simply you just have to go ahead and copy this and go to your project and you just have to install it simply. So we're gonna go ahead and install this first make sure you're in your discord bot and once you guys installed it until it installs as you can see there is some methods as well if you go to the end of the page the methods i don't know if you know this but there's always methods for each bit package you install it depends actually so there's guild id there's channel id those are the methods that you can use for the drop and the giveaway so there's also drop um thingies if you want to use it you just have to check the documentation but we're going to use you know, we're not going to use drop list. we're going to just go ahead and use the giveaway system so simply after it got installed yeah it's installed you just have to make a command well if you don't have a command handler it's fine you just have to go to your index.js and then you know use the command inside of your message event make a command on there but right now i'm just gonna go ahead and make a command on my commands folder so i'm gonna go ahead and do gcreate.js which means giveaway create and i'm just gonna go ahead and uh, use a sample from my old commands so i can use this and i'm gonna name the command gcreate and also there's no aliases we're not gonna care about anything else we just have to do it from scratch so simply just have to make sure to go to your index address now because we first need to require this thing so we just have to go ahead and make sure that we use and there's also an example here so yeah there we go we need to first have a client which we already have it as a bot which we have this one and uh, there's also a client uh which is here um which we already did this one as well i'm pretty sure yep we already did this giveaway creator this is where we need this stuff so like i said you need the mongodb database so make sure you put your d database in uh like over here and simply put your URL of your database right over here that I'm pointing out right now. So you just have to do this and replace this with bot or client. So I'm using bot uh, because I, I don't know why I'd replace that. But uh, I use I use bot as you can see. I use bot for my new client method. So basically, if you're using client here, you just have to go ahead and you know put client here. But I'm using bot for my whole system. So I'm just going to go ahead and put bot here. So we told about the creator is equal to new giveaway creator you know and that's gonna do this kind of stuff so now we just have to tell the bot that we can access this simply by doing this thing here as you can see if i do bot everywhere i go like in my commands folder anywhere i go if i do bot that giveaways it refers to creator on this page which is a pretty cool thing it also says it can access the creator from everywhere which is a pretty cool and dope feature in my opinion and uh, when you want to use command handler uh but yeah so that's all you need to do uh so simply we just have to go ahead and now we set up everything in our index.js and now we ha just have to use my bot.giveaway in our command so simply we just have to make sure that um if you want to have some permissions for this command let's just go ahead and add it if not then we just kind of start making the command so first of all we just have to specify what channel we want to do this so as you can see, the contract channel is equal to message that message the channel does first. So the first mentioned channel is going to be the channel that this giveaway is going to be sent to. And then we can specify the winners and stuff like that. This is where you can put this kind of stuff. Well, this is where the customization begins. So if you want the bot to answer to each one of your questions, you know, stuff like that, then I will probably um, recommend you this thing that I showed you in the description and also in the page right on the screen. 
you just go ahead and check it out it's something called I mean, for collections we basically need to use a system called collector uh from using discord so the collectors are basically work whenever you send the message it's going to collect that information at the end it's going to send it to that channel for example so first it asks you what's the channel and then you respond with the channel it's asks you for the giveaway amount stuff like that so it's just something if you want to do uh but if you don't want to do that you just have to you know for your own server you can just put the system here and just have the good arc system and uh let's just say the first mention channel and then uh, but after that i'm just wanting to um get the guild um you know thingy so once we do this we can set the winners uh the duration and the guild id make sure you put this kind of stuff and also because i'm using bot like i said i'm using bot that giveaways i'm gonna put bot here i'm not gonna put clients make sure about this don't forget so now we just have to do simply no dot and um i'm pretty sure the giveaway is not gonna work because i didn't put the mongodb arrow i'm gonna put it for a second all right so i've done it now we just have to run the bot and um i'm pretty sure we should be all fine so proxy alt is online so we just have to simply do g create and then i think pretty much it yep created a giveaway yep you guys done you guys are basically done so the duration let's just put the duration as and the good thing is because we're using a database currently this thing is gonna work like a charm it's if it, even though if you stop the giveaway right now like this console it's just still gonna work but the message might not work because you know that there's nothing that the bot can do um so simply what i recommend is whenever you restart your bot or stuff like that this is still gonna work it's not gonna like destroy or anything like that which is a very good thing and I, i've seen multiple stuff like you guys make your own discord just giveaway and you still cannot figure out how you can you know uh, make it not break whenever you restart the bot and this is a very good thing because it the, the time the time that they use is using the database so even though if you turn off the bot the database is going to automatically update the timeline uh it's a math function that we did um so yeah let's just go ahead and do no dot i don't know why did the duration like that but let's just make it um five seconds yeah let's just make it five seconds so we just have to do no dot now and we just have to do okay we already won it because we didn't react yeah nobody reacted to this thing and it's gonna give us the information so now we just have to do g create again and there we go and after five seconds it's probably gonna say i'm gonna react give me a second there we go so after yeah there we go congratulations that's great we want this thingy so i don't have any alt accounts right now but if you alt account it's gonna automatically choose one you can just test it out yourself it's not gonna be like you know only the person who first reacts stuff like that that's that's the thing that how the drops droplets work so if you want to use droplets then go ahead and use it there's like a full documentation of everything you can do but for today's video it's just a simple video you can how you can make your own g create you know command for your discord bot make sure you have that mongodb database and if there is problems or if you have any questions or requesting me to make other kind of videos go ahead and comment down below like the video if you enjoyed it subscribe to the channel and go ahead and join to our discord server if you want a faster support because we always help people a lot over there and we have a whole support team over there thank you so much for watching today's video and um, this is dashcraft and i'm pretty much out thank you guys in the next video